What if you've spent a lot of time building up a gorgeous professional looking website, but your conversion rates are still low? A possible reason for this and a possible solution to this problem is what we're looking at in today's website review. Hello, I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes and the website we're looking at today, as always, was sent in by a reader and it's this time called Nutritiously. So that's nutritiously.com. So let's take a look at this site. This right here is the homepage of the site. And we can see right here we have, first of all, it's a nice looking website. Right away we can tell this is a nice looking website. It's a nice design. We have an image that tells us what's this about, what this is about. And we have a large, clear headline. So this site does a good job of telling me what I can expect right here. So let's start scrolling a bit. We have some more on the same topic, whole, fresh, healthy food. Then we have um, a layout that you also often find in our landing pages where we have like three features or three benefits highlighted. Then we have more images. Uh, we have some places to start. We have like some buttons indicating where to start. And then we have latest blog posts. And that's pretty much what we have on the home page here. So let's assume that I'm going to follow this start now recommendation and let's see where that takes us. So here we have a clear heading saying free course, something about transforming our lives and a fairly clear offer. We have a six part course, but right here, if we look at this in a bit more detail, it says ready to transform your life and then learn how to successfully transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle by using the tips and tricks we provide with this six part course. And it says step-by-step -step guide, meal plans, insider knowledge and 100% free. But I feel like here, not enough emphasis is put on what exactly this is. Because if we look at this, it's really the least visible text here in this subheading that gives us the most information. And without that, if it says ready to transform your life, step-by-step -step guide, meal plans, inside knowledge, 100% free, and even the image here, nutritiously six part course, all of the most attention grabbing things here are actually the least informative. And so one of the ways you could fix that is to have more details about what exactly this is and what exactly I'm getting and who this is for in these bullet points, or to make this text here, the subheading more readable, maybe even shift the whole thing up because right here at the top, we are using up a lot of space here with this image without it really communicating that much. Next, let's go over to the blog and see what we find there. First impression on the blog is again, a very good impression. We have a great clean layout, nice use of spacing, images, typography, it's all, you know, it all makes a good impression. So if we look at a specific post, let's see some more details there. So here we have a post, again, good typography, good use of images, subheadings, all of that, all of the basics are here. We have the very bottom is this little ad for smoothie recipes. And again, the here's where it lacks punch, right? Where you're actually trying to get that conversion, that's where it really lacks punch. Like this post, it's not a great use of the main headline here and then receive the latest updates from our blog, exclusive content, and get our smoothie ebook as a welcoming gift. So clearly the strongest incentive here is going to be that smoothie ebook. But all I know about it is that it's a smoothie ebook and that's just not specific enough. And it doesn't, there's nothing there that really makes me want that. So what you should try and do is the description of what this ebook is. That's something you should craft and try and essentially like a headline, tell me what it is and why I want it and try to come up with a sentence that really makes me want this, that really makes it sound enticing because smoothie ebook meh, doesn't really excite. Now I think that's definitely one of the weaknesses here is that we have the actual parts where the call to action is. Those are a bit too shy and a bit too weak. But one thing that's interesting about this website is that obviously I could talk more as I often do in these reviews. I talk about essentially details on the page, like, you know, what's your messaging like? What's the typography like? How clear is the visual hierarchy? Things like that. None of these things are broken here. So like I said, this is a, a really good professional looking website already. 
all the details are basically already in place. So why isn't this working? Well, as I was spending more time looking through the site, I believe that the key point here is really not about the site's design or you know, any of these, like let's say the more, the, the smaller details of how to convert. It's at a much higher level where something is missing. And in fact, what I believe is missing here in this specific case is personality and edge. So nutrition blogs, foodie blogs, healthy eating, that kind of thing is very, very common. It's, you can find thousands of websites on this topic. And you can also find some really large, uh, basically media uh, companies in this space that have, um, that have large websites. They publish probably dozens of pieces of content every day that have this whole content machinery going on, getting that traffic, this, all this you know, from social media and so on. So you're, you're competing against some really heavy hitters there as well. And while this whole website looks nice, it lacks a sense of personality. Um, often, you know, most of the pictures are just like these, these kind of nice looking food pictures, but there's no people in them. There's, you have to go to the about page to, to get an idea of who the people behind this site are in the first place. And it just, it, it lacks that personal touch. Perhaps even more importantly, it also lacks a certain edginess or something that really sets it apart. Because really, if, if we just um, did a search for healthy food blogs, we looked through all of them. Let's say we looked through 10 of them and this was one of them. I think it'd be forgettable. It wouldn't stand out, right? It wouldn't be, there wouldn't, there's nothing here that really grabs your attention. There's nothing here that, that shows you, oh, this is how, this is how it's different. So what's lacking here is edge or a clear USP. Like what makes you guys different? Why should I, if I'm interested in healthy nutrition, why should I come to this website instead of to one of the thousands of others? So if it was my job to improve the performance of this website, that's where I would spend most of my time. I'd spend time on figuring out how do we differentiate ourselves in this market and figuring out the bigger picture strategy before going into more details of, you know, how do I improve my offer? How do I convert leads into sales and so on and so forth. I hope that gives you some good ideas and a way to examine your own website as well. So take a look at details and also the strategy and how your website fits into the larger marketplace and find ways there to improve your position. Now, if you have any questions or any feedback on this video, as always, please leave a comment below. And if you enjoy these website reviews, you can do two things. Number one, you can share this on social media because the more people know about this, the more we can make reviews like this. And also, if you go to the blog post associated with this, you can find a link in the description that will tell you how you can submit your own website for a chance to be reviewed in a future video.